this morning, Betway Park was closed down because it was too mild. Yesterday as well, we had our own very, our very own Janela Massa. She came down here and she was directed to another skate park because it was so warm that we saw some melting. But tonight, it's a perfect night to be out and about. And I'm with someone who's new to skating. Your name is Edouard and you're from the Dominican Republic. Yes, I'm from the Dominican Republic. This is my first time in Toronto. Yeah. Actually, this is my first time ice skating. You, you didn't do too bad. I saw you. I had to hold your hand a bit, but that was pretty good. And we're going to show everyone our skating moves a little later on. Um, but, I mean, what do you think about this weather? It hasn't been too bad today or yesterday. How long have you been here for? Uh, I've been here for two months. Okay. Actually, today and yesterday, it wasn't that cold. Yeah. So about a couple of weeks ago, a couple of days, minus 28. That is something that we're not used to have in back home. You know, yeah. I'm from the Caribbean. The weather is uh, way different. It, it's much different, that's for sure. Well, um, the good news is that it's going to be a pretty mild week. The bad news is tomorrow we are going to see a bit of freezing rain throughout the afternoon period. So stick around. I'm going to tell people the forecast first. So tomorrow afternoon we are expecting some freezing rain. A special weather statement has been issued for the city of Toronto and across the GTA. Basically a Colorado low crossing over the lakes bringing freezing rain throughout the late morning and into the afternoon and then transitioning into rain as we start to warm up. But as we transition to that colder, the freezing mark, that's where we can start to see that freezing rain. But it's more of a risk for areas out towards central and eastern Ontario where temperatures are going to be a bit colder in northern New York and Durham regions. Right now on our radar, not much happening. It's pretty dry at this moment. But we could see some drizzle later on this evening and then heading into the overnight. That's where we start to transition into rainfall. And then throughout the late morning and early afternoon, that's when we can see some freezing rain. And you can see it on our future cast, actually. There's some cloud cover heading into the evening hours and that rainfall I was talking about north of the city, seeing that freezing rain. And then we could see some freezing rain in the downtown core. We get a brief break throughout the afternoon and then rain once again throughout the evening on Monday, heading into Tuesday, throughout the overnight and into the morning on Tuesday. Taking a look at our current temperature in the city of Toronto, two degrees, three degrees in Woodbridge throughout the overnight. We're not getting much colder than this. We're going to stick around that two degree mark and then we start off the morning at one. Throughout the day we cool down but we warm up once again to one degrees. And what does the next seven days look like? Well, let me tell you, we are expecting temperatures to get to rise to about five degrees, minus five on Wednesday and Thursday, minus five once again. And then we start to warm up heading into the weekend. So overall this week, we're going to see pretty mild conditions for this time of year. But then, of course, we're seeing some pretty soggy conditions as well with rain. Now, Edouard, we were supposed to go skating. But it looks like the Zamboni's on the ice right now, so the timing is not that great. So uh, we're going to have to show everyone our mad skills a little later on in this show. Yeah. yeah. All right. Bye, guys.